So guys, I am back with another Starfield video and today guys, I bring you this incredible legendary item farm that you do not want to miss. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So you've probably seen the elite enemy farming methods where you take, well, you find an elite enemy on a high level planet. Uh, you put the game on easy or normal, you take them down to low health. You then save, well you then change the game to very hard, then save the game. Once you've saved the game, you take out that elite enemy. In doing this, guys, um, they have an increased chance of dropping that legendary loot. Elites in the game have the, I think, the highest drop chances of legendary loot. So you take him out. If he drops a legendary and it's one you want, good. If you don't drop a legendary, fine. Simply load up that save you just made. Simple as that. You can do this over and over until you get that legendary loot. Now, the thing I was looking for is a spot where there's multiple elite enemies. And I, I found one. You can get sometimes here upwards of three or four. Uh, now, firstly, as well, this is very, very important. You want to get rid of your companion just for now. Doesn't matter who it is, just get rid of it. I not long got rid of mine. It was Sarah. She was doing my head in, got rid of her because they can mess up this. So, to get rid of them, guys, you simply just speak to them. Well, I, I've actually got to set him as my companion first, so I'll show you how to do that. So now he's my companion, he's going to follow me out into the battlefield. Okay, so he's now my companion. So if I click on him. Yes, yes, get rid of his dialogue, you can stay close, whatever. Okay, cool. Now, see, he says the Dorian fan is now following you. To get rid of a companion, simply go back up to them. They can, it's always the second option, Dan. Return to your post now. And you'll see guys, he's not following me anymore. That's how you get rid of your companion. Okay, so now you're on the planet. You've got no companions. This is where you've got to go and what you got to do. Once you've got it set up, it's absolutely fine. It's fast, it's rapid, but it will take you a few minutes to get set up. So the only drawback to this legendary farm is you need to get a bit lucky with RNG in regards to finding yourself an abandoned outpost. Now, I do... Well, I recommend you looking on planets where the level's above a level 65 to a 75. But again, this can be completely RNG for you. I found one on this Fermi, I think it's Fermi 7B, which is this one right here. But they could be on any planet. It doesn't matter, it just takes you to look around. But as soon as you find one, which I'll show you what they look like, make sure you make a manual save. So yes, I mean, you can come here, you may get lucky, but again, You'll come across these on multiple planets, but again, I recommend you get into a high level planet to do this because it just works way better. But they do all look exactly the same, which is why I'm going to show you exactly what this one looks like. So I'm on, the, on top of my ship here. You can see it right there. That is what an abandoned outpost will look like in regards to the one we are after. I'm just going to run across here now. Um, but yes, again, this is all RNG. I had my friend look on this planet. It was different for him. But on another planet, he had this exact same abandoned outpost. I went and looked around. I found like four others on all on different planets. Uh, so yeah, they are multiple of these, but they are tied to RNG with the, you know, like the planets generate themselves as you land on them. But yeah, so as soon as you actually get one of these, this is what they look like. This is where... Uh, you want to be now as soon as you find one make a manual save like i said but the dead giveaway is that big sort of like canister barrel looking thing there with all the lights at the front uh, you want to actually ignore this i show you do i actually do a 360 of it so you know what it looks like from all angles because obviously it could be a different angle for you depending on where your uh ship lands but again there are normally uh, rocks on the one side which you will see here you're, always, you're looking for that one big canister in the middle. Once you know what they look like, you won't really miss it. Let's just run around it. Keep running around. In fact, I can probably just go real high. But yes, this is exactly what we are looking for. This is where these farms take place and they are the best I have seen. So we're getting at a good angles of it. I mean, the lights you won't see until you get close to it. But again, it is this big old... I don't even know what that is. It's like a water canister. can't remember what they're called. My brain's a fog. But anyway, once you find one, guys, this is what you want to do. 
So you want to come to the back entrance, which is where these steps are here. So I'm just going to make a 360 and come back this way. And you'll see what I mean here. You see this light here? This is where you want to make your way towards. Uh, you can see there we've got one. This is random, by the way. This guy's random. It can be that. It can be one of them. Sometimes he ain't. I mean, you can kill him if you want or leave him. If I were you, I'd leave him. If he appears like an elite, an elite can tell by the multiple health bars and shields. If he's an elite, leave him. Don't touch him. Then you want to come up here, guys. And then kill this guy here. This guy can sometimes appear as an elite as well. And what he will do is he will enter this cave behind you. If he is an elite, leave him. If he isn't, fair enough. Kill him. From here, guys, that's the cave. You want to create a save. So I'll go on, save the game. I'll save over one I not long did, which is this one here. I'll save over this. So now, guys, just simply walk into this. Remember, we are on normal now. We're not on very hard. So once you're in here, guys, again, there's a chance of there being multiple elites. There's one. There's one normally down there. There's two. There is sometimes there can be a third and fourth in here. But the ones that ain't elites, just kill them. Take them all out. Just leave the elites. And you'll see the guy outside will follow you in also. So if there is an elite outside, make sure you don't kill them. In fact, I should probably put this on easy. Just take these out much, much quicker, which is what I do. I think I'm on normal now. Put it on easy. There we go. Okay, so we've got one guy up there. Wow, how do you sponge that headshot? And is there a guy? There's normally this guy glitching here too. <laughs> what are you doing there? Okay, so he's dead. Okay, so there can be a guy down here too. So now guys, I am left with three elites. Again, there can be three or four elites in this cave alone. This cave system, there can be three or four in alone. The ones outside, if they are elites, do not kill them. They will follow you in here, which just adds to the farm. If they are not elites, take them out. So I've got one that's followed me and we've got two down there. Now, if you come in this cave system and there's only, say, one elite in here, you can simply reload the save you made outside of the door, come back in and it resets the enemies. It really does. Okay, so from here, guys, what you want to do is you want to take these down to a low health. Take them all down to a low health. Now, be careful what weapon you're using. If you're using something too powerful, you can kill them, which is what you don't want to do. Okay, so that guy now is on a one shot, which I almost killed him. I probably should switch from that weapon, to be honest. Now, I've got to be careful now not to hit him. Follow me, lad. This guy's a higher level one, so it's going to take a little bit more damage, which is fair enough. Just going to be careful what you're doing. Again, if you're on it easy, you ain't going to die very fast, so don't worry about that. But you want to take them all down, so I do that really low health. I'm using another health. Don't stand behind that dude. Because, look at him, he's trying to shield himself behind his pal. Yeah, cheeky bastard. Okay, so... So he's on a low half too. Now we're just going to go to the last elite. I'm just going to take him down too. Okay, so now guys, we have three elites on low half. That guy's half is coming back, which is fair enough. Some of them do that. Some of them don't. Okay, so now we've got three elites all on low half. So what we do now, guys, is we change the game to very hard. Then we create another save. So from here, guys, you can save over that last save you just made or create a new one. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to save over this. Okay, so from here, guys, you simply just take them out. You might want to use a more powerful weapon now because it's on very hard. And make sure you got full health because these guys will beam you. They will beam your ass. Now, elites, if you didn't know, have increased drop chances of those legendary items. That's why we want to farm them. Okay, so he's only got a blue. Fair enough. Got another guy, two guys down here. There's another one dead. And the last guy, who I think is the hardest hitting guy, is that guy there. Reload my weapon. I don't know what he's shooting at me, but he's exploding my ass. Okay, so he's dead. So, yeah, there we go. We've got a legend over there. And we have this guy here. Can I get to him without falling into whatever that shit is? 
Okay, so he's got a blue. So I got one legend out of them three. I mean, if you're not happy with what you got, you simply reload the pack. It's actually quite cool. <laughs> Way better than one I've got. But because I want to do um, showcase to the farm, I'm just going to showcase to you what you got to do. So if you don't get a legendary one, simply load up that save you just made. Simple as that, guys. And again, when you first come to this cave, make sure you make a save outside of the cave before you come back in. It resets the enemies inside of here. Resets instance. There's a chance of being multiple, um, multiple uh, elites. So yeah, do what you gotta do. Legendary, nice. We'll take that for now. What are you got on ya? You got two blues again. Third guy, where are you? Where are you hiding? Where's your ass? Are oh, you hiding behind the cabinet? And there we go. But yeah, guys, that's all you gotta do to increase your chances of getting that legendary loot. But yeah, guys, there we have it. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.